Jasper Fall at Dublin. Welcome to the Savage Guy. Someone actually bought one like one world tapestry of Savage Gang merch on Redbubble. I really appreciate that. I know it's not you, but someone did. I was pretty stoked. But anyway, this will be the new station for a metro, 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 Sydney metro, which is like a new line, new, new tram line for Sydney. I'm pretty happy. So currently what I am doing, I'm currently doing, we're kind of trying to find where Barangaroo Reserve is at. Um, I've never been because in the past this area is actually pretty barren. There's nothing here. They are, they recently um, did a lot of work, like a lot of conservation work at it. So it's still a new area for me. I don't know what kind of place I would be expecting but I think if I'm not mistaken you need to cross here where all those people are crossing and uh, that would be very good reason hold on my sock keep falling off I hate it oh okay but I know like if we keep going straight we would end up at the rocks the rocks is basically like where all of Australian national icon is at. Oh, my socks. I don't know, where do you go? Do you go to Barangaroo Reason? Hold on, is that a motorized? Okay, shall we go now? I think we are going now. Are we going now? I'm afraid of follow of not following rules. Okay, so we should be going here. Burning your reason. So this is the first time I've been in this place for his brain. Is that north? Barangaroo Reserve, apparently. Mm. Ooh. Barangaroo Reserve. I did not know that this exists until now. I think I just did this whole thing. Hey everyone, so currently I am at Barangaroo Reserve. Um, this is a new area of Sydney that they, they basically just recently developed. I have never been here before, so this is my first time being here. So let's explore the place together. So we are very near to the rocks. And that is the Barangaroo CBD area. And I think they're trying to make this as a recreational area for the public while trying to maintain some sense of heritage of the Aboriginal um, side of our history. Oh, look at that. So I think this is a reimagining of what the area used to like, if used to look like, or would have been used as um, if Western society have not come to Australia. Here, a contemporary reimagining of welcome to country. So, if you don't know, in Australia, first people are the Aborigines, and each section of the, the city or area of Australia basically has Aboriginal history. This is where his celebration of ritual, ceremony, and story practice on country since time of the world. Welcome visitors to the Gadigo countries. I respect to the traditional customs of this. What is this? Oh. I don't know what this is. There is a 
let's watch this first and then we'll see what's inside this is so cool like this is huge wow this is like huge this is like a huge camp this is a huge So if you come around the Barangaroo area, oh, this screen, it's, I want this in my house. <laughs> I am so off topic. Oh my God. The details, oh my God, the graphic on this, guys, no, epic. I like that contrast between the old and the new. We were in the old time before and now we are in the modern time. This will be good to learn about Australian native plants because we have abundance of it now rather than rather than relying on medicine that is outside Australia. I'm Asian, but still, I feel like, you know, if you stay in one land, in a particular land, I think it's good to know what the assets of that land is. This graphic, though, is amazing. I am literally amazed by the graphic. This is insane. I'm just gonna keep watching this until it loops back around to where it started. I don't think it's that long anymore. I think it's only like three hours worth. Sorry, three minutes worth maybe. Where is the sound coming from? Oh, the sound coming from above. Pretty cool. Oh my god, what screen are they using? Are they using like. Ah, there you go. That's the end. Oh no, it's not the end. Not the end. Oh, okay. Is it the end? I think it's the end. I think it looks back. Yeah, I think it's already looking back. This is really good. Whoever made this, I really appreciate it. I feel like it's a epic quality. The voice coming from there, by the way. All of these are speakers. Oh my god, that is so cool! Alright, we look back, I think. So we can go in? I don't know what's inside. So there is this area. What is this area? I don't know what this area is. Oh, maybe not yet. Or oh, maybe soon? Oh, maybe soon. Not yet. Maybe it's like for future exhibition. Looks cool. Oh, you can park here, I think. Look into Barangaroo. What's inside? Let's just use our feet to find out. If you're in the Barangaroo area in Sydney, you should watch this. This is pretty cool. So we are back outside again. So we were coming from that area before. And then we kind of explore that bit. So they're trying to make this a recreational area. I think they're trying to make like straight um, path over there. And then also down 
the drilling inside to down the earth to make a new metro line which is a metro station which is like a train station oh i should get left i think it's gonna loop back to the rocks Look at the sun. We've been the sun is basically yellow and red. The reflection on the water is also like yellow and red. The reason mainly is because the bushfire smoke that's been happening in Sydney. That's the Anzac Bridge over there. If you check out the bridge. And most people are probably spending this time right now with their loved ones or with the not so cool people from work. Rosta! I missed you. How are you? I didn't really mean to stream but I'm forcing myself to stream because I got 20 gigabytes of data to spend. How are you? What are you up to? Have you been going to Christmas parties of late? Um, I am currently at Barangaroo Reserve. I don't know I don't want to go up that stairs although I probably should I'm just gonna stay to flat ground <laughs> yeah Barangaroo Reserve um, I think it's a new area dance festival did you like it did you enjoy it did you have a good time that's good that's really good you've been you've been busy is the air better in melbourne because the air is pretty shit here like yesterday i basically woke up because i could smell the smoke it was bad Oh, I really don't want to go up there. Really? Melbourne's air was really bad too. I think I have to go up there. Because I remember like in 2003, 2002, like when we had that really massive bushfire as well and ash was basically started to come into Sydney. Um, Sydney's houses. I basically ran away to Melbourne because you know they were better air quality. Welcome back to Sydney. What are you gonna do for Christmas? <laughs> it's basically an inside joke between you and I now when it comes to uptime, eh? <laughs> oh, Rasta! Someone bought my wall tapestry savage gun. I don't think like they were a part of stream people, but I'm still grateful that someone bought the merch. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me report that to you. Oh, okay. It was a family gathering. What is happening? There is music coming from the back. That guy is basically running by holding a Bluetooth speaker on his hand. That's where the music is coming from. I really should go up there because I think like the nature part of this walk is literally up there. And my ankle is starting to get to hurt. Tell 
Tom's place. Where is Tom's place? Oh, I feel like if I go up the stairs, I'm gonna die. Oh, lack of oxygen. Rasta, do you have problem with alcohol? See, like, I feel like now streaming has become my um, venting place about my flatmates. I really cannot allow them to find out about my streaming life. <sighs> I can no longer vent. There is more music coming from the back. That is a legit speaker, eh? You drink 20 swan off double black top. Oh, they are putting on the same music. So everyone is on the same station. That's kind of a great idea. That's great. It actually creates a, the whole atmosphere. Everyone is listening to the same thing. So it's like, you know, they're creating a moving space. I basically just um, got what? Maybe, I don't know. So we are, I think, at the end of the Barring Career Reserve. Oh, Midnight Runners, maybe? Is that what it is? It's not about me. It's the fact that, oh my god, this. I'm gonna walk really fast. I feel like I'm intruding. I feel like I'm intruding into like things that are happening right now. <laughs> like what's happening? using Bluetooth. Those people are using Bluetooth so it would cut off all my data. Like all the Wi-Fi signals would get it, you know, interfered and everything. I think like you have to go up there to explore a little bit of the area, the Barangaroo area. So that's basically uh, just a short um, tour of the Barangaroo Reserve walk and cycling path. Um, maybe next time if I have the energy we can go up there um, and check out the view from above. Or would I do it now? Maybe I should do it now. <laughs> the reason why I'm being formal talking like this is because I'm gonna cut this section and put it up on YouTube. Oh, maybe I can cut across and go back to the regional area. I think I can do that. Maybe I can. Maybe it is like a shortcut. No, I don't want to. Anyway. So, for YouTube, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, come check out Baron Guru Reserve if you guys are here. Um, and check out the area. It's new to me. So, if you want to check out a little bit of Sydney and a little bit of heritage, come over here. section of this area.
do you get well do you get paid per client or do you just get paid regardless like you know an employee kind of structure or like a contractor kind of culture actually don't answer that you know why because oh that helicopter though 